So I have gotten a lot of recent emails here lately about a new coin called Prime Coin. Now, when it first came out, I was really into it. I had literally every single computer in my house, which is like seven or eight, laptops set up everywhere, mining this, because I really thought it was going to be the next big coin. And the reason I say that is because it was created by Sun God. And if you guys don't know, he created PPC coin, um, which stands for peer-to-peer -peer coin. And most notably, I thought it was one of the best coins ever developed besides Litecoin and Bitcoin. So it's interesting. Now, PrimeCoin is really, really interesting because it uses prime numbers. But before I get into the whole technical side of it, let's just go through some basic information to inform you, the user, on what PrimeCoin is so you can decide if you even want to get invested in it or even just start mining it. So let's start out. It was actually produced pretty recently. Uh, it is the newest coin that is the most popular. And I say that because most of the popular coins have been produced at least a year ago, where this coin was produced on July 7th, 2013. So less than half of a year, almost one-fourth of a year ago, it was created. So it's still a very, very, very early coin. So, you know, you could still probably possibly get in on it. It's um, I've read through all the developer logs and stuff. It's fascinating. Sun God is just really good at helping other people out that are creating coins. And so he has tons of documentation, and he spends time. If, like, if I email him, he'll respond. He has other people that he talks to all the time that responds. So you know it's a trustworthy coin with a great developer behind it. So let's move on. Now, it is a proof-of-work system. So basically, how it works is it searches, and your computer is doing random number calculations to find prime numbers. Of course, prime coin, you know, you kind of expected that to happen, right? Um, there are certain different types of prime numbers and calculations to find those. Um, I, can't, I don't want to go into too much detail because it is kind of complex, though it's very, very intriguing if you want to look into it. There's tons of documentation, like I said, but all you need to know is it uses a proof-of-work system, and, you know, that is, there, it's one of the leading top two systems. And it kind of seems that all coins either, or, you know, half of them are proof-of-work. So it is intriguing. I know I keep saying that a lot, so just forgive me. It was said, you know, it was made by Sun God. Again, I, I can't stress enough, he is one of the best developers. You know, you have the top people that develop just Bitcoin, which they are amazing. You know, if you guys are watching this video, you guys do a great job. But for the altcoins, the problem that altcoins have always had is they don't have a good developer team. And I'll be honest, PPC coin, Prime coin, Sun God knows how to run them, he knows how to develop them, and he knows how to keep them updated so they never fall behind. Great two coins. If you ever, you know, worried about getting into the coin, these are the two to get into. But I'm talking too much, so let's get back into the details. Now, another thing is, this is where it gets really interesting. He looked at Bitcoin, and he, the developer, Sun God, and he said, how can we make this coin an, a true altcoin, and not a coin that replaced Bitcoin, but to kind of help it out? So the transactions have about 10 times faster. And I'm going to explain this. So in Bitcoin, you have a new block every 10 minutes. So that's why, you know, if you send a transaction, you have to wait, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Certain blocks have to go through. So those can get calculated, and they can confirm that you sent money. Now, in Prime Coin, a new block is created about every, roughly every minute. So your transactions are going to get sent a lot faster. So if you, you know, you got to get money to someone real, real quick. It's a very easy system. But, you know, there's been arguments before that Bitcoin and Litecoin will become almost the gold and silver standard to the point where they're so valuable you can't use them for normal, you know, transactions. That's still to be debatable. But you know, some guys kind of look in the future and saying, well, if that's possible. There needs to be a coin that is going to be easy for, you know, sending funds back and forth for, you know, a monetary system where you can exchange goods using money, but also that is comparable to Bitcoin and Litecoin or Litecoin. People get way too feud about how to call it. You know, there's an argument about that. So it's a, it's a good point to make. It's a good solid coin. Now, it also adjusts the, the difficulty slightly every block, every block. Now, this is a big point, and people don't really understand that. So let me kind of break this down real quick. Why is this important? Well, if you need a better time than any, look at the current you know, situation we have right now. Bitcoin roughly updates the difficulty every 14 days, every two weeks. The problem is, is like right now, you have a whole bunch of mining units coming online, and that screws up the whole mining difficulty range. It's just too many people are getting online, and it's just the system can't keep up. It, you know, people are the time gets shorter or longer. The whole system is just not built for people to rapidly get on and off, you know. But for this one, they kind of said, okay, well, look, there's going to be a rapid change. Let's try to make it adjust slowly each block so we don't have a problem that he foresaw in Bitcoin. Now, I'm not saying Bitcoin's bad. Bitcoin is an amazing system, 
everything's you know kind of really countered and you know balanced really well so i'm not just in bitcoin at all trust me i love bitcoin it's just there's some things that bitcoin excels at and there's some things that it doesn't completely excel at and the purpose of altcoins are to take those things that it doesn't excel at and try to make up for it so you know they're not trying to replace bitcoin i think the coins that try to replace bitcoin they're they already fail you know the coins the altcoins that are going to do good are the coins that say hey look we're never going to be able to beat bitcoin but let's try to make bitcoin a better coin by assisting it where it has faults or it doesn't have the best advantages, which is great. And Sun God knows how to do that. So again, if you want to get into Prime Coin, it's a great coin to get into. I encourage it. Now, one great thing I haven't talked about: you can only mine it with CPU, which this is phenomenal because all the people that have those ASIC miners out there, they have those GPU miners or the FPGA boards, and they spend all this money. And you're th so you're sitting there like me, the average person, saying, "I can't afford to buy all this equipment." Well, guess what? Prime coin you can still mine without you know really competing against people that have tons of equipment. You're competing against people that only are using their CPUs, so you have a better chance of you know doing better. You have a better chance of the competition being lower. So it's just a great coin, like I said, all around. I'm not endorsing you know I'm endorsing it, but I'm not you know getting paid or anything to endorse it. It's just I love altcoins. I love the research. I do so much research into altcoins. I could go into really really deep discussions about altcoins, but <laughs> that's not for the intro video, of course. But yeah, I encourage you to look into it. Prime coin is probably one of the best, newest coins. I'm going to say it's going to be in the top four within a little time. You know, we have Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, Namecoin, PPC coin, and I think Prime coin is going to be, you know, fourth or fifth. It, it, it's a competition. We'll see what happens. But I think, you know, Prime coin, when it hit the market first, it was like went up real quick, which is the cause and effect of a um, pump and dump. If I'll, I have videos talking about that if you want to find out what pump and dump is. But it's just very interesting watching the market. It's kind of subdued back down to the, about the equivalent prices of PPC coin. So great coin. Research it. I hope this informs you. Uh, if you want more, there's a Wikipedia page on the regular Wikipedia and on the Bitcoin Wikipedia. But it's a very interesting coin. And if you want to mine something that you don't feel like, you know, you want to feel like you have a position, you know, you want to feel like you have your, your hand in the game, you know, you're only using CPU mining, so it's a great thing to get started. You know, if you're kind of on the edge about Bitcoin, you want to kind of experiment, you know, Prime Coin is the way to get started. So, thanks for watching.